All right, so let's say that you have been out shopping all day. Maybe you've been doing some holiday shopping or just running errands. And when you use your car over and over again, you start it and stop, start and stop. Maybe you're doing things around town. Uh, what tends to happen is your car doesn't get enough time to charge, especially in the cold weather. So here we are in the winter months, right around holiday shopping season. You're, you're maybe going from, from shop to shop. Uh, maybe you're doing running errands at the same time. And you get in your car and this happens. Nothing, right? You know you have a little bit of battery because you can hear the beeping on your, uh, on your dashboard there. But other than that, there's nothing. So the first thing you do is you think about what might be wrong. Well, it's probably the battery. I think if you're running around a lot, you're, you're not giving your, your battery enough time to charge. It, that's more than likely the problem, especially when you hear that beeping when you first turn it on. That means you're getting power to your ignition system, but it's not strong enough to actually start your vehicle because that battery is dead. So in the old days, what you do is you'd find someone who could maybe uh, who maybe had jumper cables if you didn't have any, and you would have them pull up next to your car, you know, red to red, black to black, and you jump start your car. Right? That's what it was in the old days. Well, now if you let's say you don't have anyone around or maybe you don't want to talk to someone, then uh, you have these this new thing that's a lithium jumper pack. Now, I bought this one here uh, during a Black Friday deal on Amazon. And I'm, you know they're not sponsoring me, this is Tack Life, they're not sponsoring me, nothing like that. I just picked this up because it was a super good deal. It's $100 regular price, I got it for 65. I believe now they're still on sale, but they're about 85. But the, the 65 deal, I could not pass up. And what this is, it's a 1,000 amp car jump pack, is what they call it. So when jump starting a car, this will actually pump out 1,000 amps, bam, right at one time. Not only that, it's also a 20,000 milliamp battery pack. So maybe you, you, know, you carry around those spare batteries for your phone or your iPad or your cameras or whatever. Well, this will do that, uh, but it's 20,000 milliamps. So this is a huge, huge battery. Um, and it, it, so it has USB ports on it so you can charge things. It has a 12 volt so that you can run 12 volt accessories off of it. And it has the ability to jumpstart your car at the same time. So this is a, a very, very helpful tool to not only um, use in a situation where you have to jumpstart your car, but also just to carry around in your car. I mean, this can just about fit in a glove box of most uh, of most cars. And you know, what else do you need? If not, you could throw it in the trunk. You know. Now the only bad thing is lithium batteries, when they're exposed to extreme cold, they don't do so well. They they tend to uh, not put out as much amperage and also they um, they tend to uh, drain a little bit when really cold weather so what I do every few months I'll check this I'll, I'll throw it on the charger and I'll just make sure it's topped off um, I've had this like I said since Black Friday so it's been about uh, maybe about a month not even a month maybe three weeks and I haven't used it yet so we're gonna use it for the first time here on this car uh, I left the lights on on this car for uh, most of the day just to run out the battery, just so we can try this out. This is a 2006 Honda CRV. So we're gonna try this out on this. And you really can't beat something in such a, a convenient little case like this. I mean, it's a hard shell case, it, uh, it, it's compact, and you can't beat this. So let's take a look and see what's inside this case. All right, so opening this up, you can see it's got a good zipper. I mean, you know, it doesn't bind up or anything like that. We have inside, this is the side with the cables, and this is the side with the battery. You flip this out, it has a little protective, uh, little protective cover on this right here. Uh, okay, there we go. Uh, so here's the battery itself. Let's, uh, let's take this bad boy out. So here it is, Tac Life 1000 amp uh, battery pack. And you can see right here, it has the it has two USBs. I think uh, they're both five volt. Oh, they're five volt, nine volt. That's what it is. So, and then we have an in right here. This is a micro SD that you would use on uh, on most things like that. Pretty common. Here is a light. There we go. That is a. This is the the high setting. This is the strobe setting. This is SOS. So it actually has a Morse code SOS. That's a pretty cool feature in case you're in, emer in an emergency. And oh, and back here. Let's see, let's try that again. 
yeah, you can barely see it because of the, the light in the camera. There we go. That is actually a, a red light. So you can put this up, it'll flash red light. That's a pretty cool feature. See if I can turn that off now. Oh, that was that right there. There's a like a low light and then that is off. So there's two different buttons for that. So let's turn that off. Okay, so this button right here is for this top flashlight. See, I'm fig we're figuring this out together in my car together. And this back here is controlled by this, which would make sense because it's like a hazard light. Uh, it's not gonna focus on that. But that's the, uh, that's the hazard for the back the rear, uh, it's a dimmer, a little bit of a dimmer white light, but also has the red light as well. So it's a nice protective case. I mean, I, I feel it feels like it's kind of a rubberized paint on this, so that's good. And then right here, this is the output, uh, 12 volts, 10 amp, right there. And then here is the button, or this is the this is the plugs for the jumper cables themselves. Now let's take a look at these cables really quick so we have where that plugs in right there is this right here this is your smart cables so this is a, a protector this little box right here it's like a fancy little protector box and that will protect so that you don't get shocked while you're trying to jump start your vehicle and then here are the clamps for the batteries super easy clamps plus minus in case you don't know the difference in the red and black and we'll plug that in in a second. It also has this handy, uh, this is an output for a uh, 12 volt output that you would plug into the, uh, the side right here. And now you can run uh, 12 volt accessories, 12 volt appliances off of this that you would normally put in a cigarette lighter. Like say an inflator, you know, let's say, uh, let's say you get a, a flat tire and you have a portable inflator. You can plug it straight into this if your battery's out and your tire's flat, which, I mean, at that point, you're having such a bad day, you might as well just, just give it up. Um, so here is the cord. This is the USB with the micro USB uh, right here. So this is your charging cord. It can also work, it can work to charge it, and it can also work to, uh, to run off of here to charge your, uh, your phone or whatever you need. So let's take this outside and see if we can jumpstart this thing. Again, I've never used this one. This is supposed to jumpstart any gas engine. Um, now, a lot of these have certain limitations if you have like a 500 amp, uh, but that's why I got this 1000 amp. It's supposed to, to jumpstart any gas engine and up to a 6.5 liter diesel engine. So uh, I, you might think, well, that's pretty big. I used to have a 7.3. Uh, in one of my old trucks, so it wouldn't be able to do that. And I wish I still had it because I'd like to test it out and see what it would do. But we're going to try it on in this. This is just a 2.4 little liter, um, you know, Honda engine, so it should have no problem. We'll check it out. All right, so here's the engine right here. And this uh, it has a handy little instruction book that you definitely want to check out. It gives some basic instructions on how to jump start your car. And basically, I'm a man, so I don't need this, right? So basically what you do is you get this uh, these cables here. This is kind of a foolproof, a foolproof thing right here. You have only one way this thing can go in. First you want to make sure it's off. You plug this straight in to where the flat part is on the bottom, like so. And you make sure it's nice and snug in there and that is not going anywhere this is this is really nice put these on the battery black to black red to red or uh, red is positive black is negative and then right here it tells you uh, if this is green this little light right here I can't see if you can see this or not sorry uh, if that's green it means that you're hooked up correctly if that is red it means you are reversed and you need to switch these cables then right here is your boost. That's if you want to boost the battery before you try to start it, which you don't always have to do, but you can do sometimes. So let's get this thing together and get it started.
as you can see right here, the green is hooked up and it's all set. So what we're going to do is it looks like it's all ready to go. So we're going to keep this here. We're going to get these cables out of the way because we don't want them falling down in the engine compartment. That's very, very important. And let's go try to start this bad boy. So there you have it. It's obviously easy to use. It obviously works. I mean, this is, again, this is a 2.4 engine and it says that it can do uh, all gasoline engines. So I would definitely want to try this at some point on some bigger engines. Uh, my truck has a 7.5, but I don't have my truck with me right now, so I can't try that. Um, so I might try that on there and just, you know, see how that goes. But for the money, I think this is not a bad investment, 100 bucks. Well, right now it's 85 bucks on Amazon. If you want to get it now, you know, 85 bucks, definitely worth at least checking out because now I have a battery pack to charge my devices. I have a jump starter for my vehicle. I have something that I can use to power an inflator if I get a flat tire or a low tire. It has all these features for, I think is a pretty great price. I mean, it also has a 24 month warranty. You can't beat that. So now the question is, is there anything about this that I don't like? Well, you know, to be quite honest, I don't think there really is. I mean, I, it has everything you would need. It has the USB, it has the, uh, the included 12 volt adapter. So you can, you can charge, you can run anything from USB or 12 volt, uh, you know, a normal cigarette lighter uh, runner, and you can, you could do it at any time. Now I do actually have another one of these that I normally carry in my wife's car. And it's uh, by DB Power, it's pretty much the same. It's smaller, you know, but it still has the hard case. It's still, it's a very similar design. And this one I've had for a while. It has the the same kind of smart cables. It, it has the, um, the USB plug, it has the, let's see. Oh yeah, it does have an adapter to go into 12 volt. It doesn't have the simplicity, I think, of the other one because in order to get it to go 12 volt, you have to use a couple different adapters. It doesn't have a female uh, 12 volt adapter. This is the adapter to go into your cigarette lighter. If you were to run it, um, run it from your cigarette lighter right here and here, but it doesn't have that female um, cigarette lighter you know, the plug-in for the 12 volt, which is one of the main reasons I got this. And the, this battery itself, um, this says it'll go up to 6.5 gas and 5.2 liter diesel. And of course that's the size of the engine. Uh, it says it'll work 20 times on one charge while the other one, this tack life here will go uh, 40 times. That's what they, they say it'll do 40 times on one charge 40 jump starts they make so many of these and so many of them are tagged with different brands that you pretty much just have to look to see what kind of features you want on yours uh, this one i originally bought last year and i liked it because it had the higher um it, i mean this is a high uh, peak battery amp right there uh, some of the features i liked about it is it actually has a digital led readout of the percentage and now this thing i've had sitting in my car for months and it still says 100%. That's, I mean, that's a point right there for, for DB power, I gotta say. But I haven't had any problems with this Tack Life one either. I've had this sit in my car for, well, it's only been about three weeks, but it's still at 100%. So I wanted to make this video to just kind of show that these things do work. They may seem like gimmicks. They may seem like, like how can you jumpstart an entire car off this little thing? Well, you know, lithium technology has come a long way. The batteries in our cars are, basically archaic technology 
um, you know, some of them are water filled batteries and they're just there to start the car. You, you don't run the car off the battery the whole time you're driving, that, that's what the alternator's for. So a battery is basically just to start your car and it doesn't need to be much more than that. Which is why something like this, which is a much higher technology lithium um, sealed battery, this is something that can easily basically replace that, uh, that battery you have in your car. And you might be thinking, why don't we put one of these in our cars instead of that giant heavy battery? Well, that's a whole different thing. I mean, that's up to car makers, I think, but uh, it would be kind of cool to have something like this, but well, I don't know. It's not really needed. You know, like I said, it just starts the car. It doesn't run it, doesn't do all those things. So if you're looking for something like this, I would hi highly recommend it. If not only uh, for these little cheaper ones, uh, in small cars, something you can throw in the trunk or the glove box. This one, you know, I said the other one could maybe fit in the glove box. This one definitely can. It's a little smaller. Um, this here, I mean, this this one is about one, I think it said 1.6 pounds. Super light. This is a little lighter. Well, they're probably about the same. Probably about a pound and a half for each. So they're, because uh, this one's a little thicker, as you can see. But if you have one of these, whether it's the Tac Life or the DB Power, or any of the hundreds of other brands that make these products, uh, let me know in the comments what you think. If you've had good experiences or bad experiences with these, I have yet to have a bad experience. Like I said, I just showed that I had this thing sitting in my uh, in this vehicle for months and months, and it still said 100% power. This one I've had sitting out in my other car for three weeks, and it did great. You know, it, it started this this vehicle right up. So I would love to hear if you have any negative um, experiences with these because I don't I just haven't had it yet and I would really like to know if there's something that I should expect so let me know down in the comments don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more of these kinds of videos um, I plan to do more camping outside um, now that the weather is nice and cool and uh, right alongside these uh, product reviews be doing more adventures so look for that coming soon so I want to thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it, and I will see you next time.